Welcome to the Little Paris Loft. My name is Derek and this channel is going to be dedicated to touring some of the coolest vacation getaways around the country, getting off grid, and a bunch of other things related to traveling. Today, we are checking out the number one Airbnb in Detroit, Michigan. The Little Paris Loft is located on the east side of Detroit, 20 minutes from the DTW airport. The design focused space is only 500 square feet and also features a 400 square foot private terrace overlooking the downtown Detroit skyline. So this spot is perfect for a romantic getaway or just a special occasion. If you guys would like to book this place, we'll put a link in the video description for you to check it out. Um, but anyways, let's jump into this Airbnb. When you arrive at the Airbnb, you'll pull up to a beautiful Victorian style building that was actually developed in the 1850s as a part of the French ribbon farm. The host converted this building into four apartments that are also Airbnb stays. You can book all four apartments if you're with a larger group as well, um, just as another option. Walking into the building and up the stairs, you will find the Little Paris at the end of the hallway. Walking through the door, you have this nice little small area to kick off your shoes before heading upstairs to the main loft area. Once you're at the top of the stairs, you are immediately greeted by the kitchen area. And for a 500 square foot loft, this is an incredibly large and spacious kitchen and has everything you could need to make a nice meal. Surprisingly, there's even a full-sized stainless steel fridge. And then you also have these beautiful exposed floating shelves that just help store all of your morning pick-me-up coffee needs and uh, you know just more storage within the kitchen. The host actually provides a full bag of local Great Lakes coffee grounds and a pour over French press so you can make just enough coffee for two in the morning. There's also these really, really cool Good Morning from Detroit mugs that Honestly, I think we're gonna try and find where they got these because they're just really, really cool and a nice touch uh, in the space too, just with the local Detroit decor. The kitchen also features a full range gas stove and oven and even has a full sized dishwasher so you don't have to worry about hand washing any of your dishes while you're here. The host also provides better made chips which are actually a product of Detroit and totally addicting. And then finally you have the cabinets and this blue color with the beautiful brass hardware is one of my favorite color combinations in the kitchens. To top it all off, they have it paired with this light wood butcher block counter and the oversized backsplash subway tile just looks really good and ties everything together really nicely. Over near the dining table on the other side of the kitchen, you have another cabinet which has your microwave on it and it's actually on wheels too, so you can be mobile with it and move it to anywhere you want. Moving along down the hallway, you have your one and only bathroom to your left. In here, you have your toilet, sink, and a full tub and shower. The subway tile on the shower and the small black and white octagon floor Tiling makes everything in this bathroom really bright and clean and overall it's just really nicely done and makes the space feel a lot bigger than it actually is. At the end of this area is your main living space and this is actually a lot larger than it seems. It's the perfect spot to sit and have your morning coffee or just cozy up by the TV and watch a movie after a long day exploring the city. In here you have your TV perched up on this really cool wooden entertainment center. And this is where you'll find some of the games that the host has here for you to play. You also have this wooden coffee table that nicely matches the natural wooden log end table with some succulents and greenery that makes everything feel a little more lively. The host even has some Detroit based books and decor that keep everything flowing very nicely. And you also have plenty of room for people to sit in here with this really contemporary couch and chair. This couch can also convert to a bed, so if you have more than two people staying here, um, this is where you have the additional sleeping area. You can just tell that the host really paid attention to these small details when it comes to the colors and the decor uh, of this entire loft, but also just this space with the really cool exposed ductwork, uh, the exposed brick, and then all of the furniture to kind of match it. On the brick wall behind the couch, you have a cool Detroit mural sitting on what seems to be like an old mailbox system for the building. The rustic look of this is just so tasteful and to top it all off, the host has a tiny Marshall speaker 
that you can connect your phone and play music to throughout the home if you'd like. Heading back down the hallway, you will see this really cool ladder which actually leads to the loft in the space. And this is where you will find the one bed uh, for you to sleep in up here. Up here you'll find this really nice quaint loft uh, which has your bed and um, just a nice area that kind of overlooks the kitchen as well. And then this ultimately leads you to the sliding door off of the back of the kitchen. And this is where you will find the 400 square foot patio that overlooks the city. I'm not sure if I took footage of the lights and skyline at night. I hope I did, I think I did. But it was an amazing view. You have this really cool lighting that lines the patio and then with the Detroit skyline in the background, you can see the Renaissance Center, uh, Little Caesars Arena, Ford Field. It's just an amazing view. And uh, we are here actually in January, but I would imagine in the summertime, this would be an amazing spot just to you know, sit around with some friends, have a drink and take in the really beautiful Detroit skyline. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the tour of the loft. There is also some really cool stuff to do within Detroit. We went to the, um, the Detroit Carhartt store, which is a staple in the city. I'm a big fan of their clothing. A couple restaurants and bars and even the Eastern Market, which is this really cool spot where you can pick up local goods from local Detroit vendors. So overall, this place is amazing with the proximity to town, uh, exploring Detroit. And yeah, if you guys are interested in booking this place, we will put a link in the video description. Be on the lookout for more tours like this in the near future. Uh, we are planning to do many, many more of these and hopefully they will get better the more that we do them. But thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please consider uh, subscribing to the channel to see more content like this in the future and we will see you guys in the next one. Is that good?